it's time to take a trip around the world and delve into all the weird foods our species like to chow down. You know, all these fried insects and all that stuff. But if you think about it, any food that is usually for one person might be crazy or just inedible to another person. Consider this a public service and an education to save you from shock when you come across these. In today's video, we have found such dishes, unusual, weird, and even creepy. Here are top 10 weird and creepy foods you won't believe actually exist. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. Maple Leaves Maple leaves or are the deep fried Japanese maple leaves. It is a dish that you can try in the Japanese city of Osaka located on the Honshu Island. The Japanese say that everything that's deep fried tastes much better. So, why not deep fry a maple leaf more than a thousand years ago? A monk was so impressed by the beauty of maple near the Minu waterfall that he fried the leaves in lamp oil and offered them to pilgrims. This is how this unusual delicacy appeared, according to the legend, and today it has gained great popularity. The dish is prepared slowly and thoroughly, first the leaves are collected, but not those on the branches, only the ones that have already fallen off, and they must be yellow to not read, otherwise the dish will be spoiled. The leaves are then thoroughly washed and salted in barrels for a year before frying them in boiling oil. The leaves are dipped in liquid dough, consisting of eggs, flour, sugar, water, and sesame. A few minutes in the deep fryer and the treat is ready. Stargazi Pie This Stargazi Pie one of the most disgusting things people eat between the dried lizards from Bangkok and the snake, whiskey from Hanoi. And the thing is, that the stargazing pie has fish heads and tails sticking out of it not. Because the chef got distracted and dropped a few extra ingredients in the dough on the contrary. He was following the recipe to the letter stargazing pie is a traditional dish from the village of Mousehole in the county of Cornwall, UK. It is eaten every year during a holiday, dedicated to the fishermen who saved the village from starvation. According to legend, the storm which lasted an entire week made. It's impossible to go out to sea to catch fish. Then a brave man named Tom Bullcock got on a boat and sailed to sea. It was December the 23rd street. Peter's Day, who's the painter and sat at the fisherman. Tom returned with a rich catch of seven species of fish. The villagers were so hungry that they baked a large pie with whole fish in it along with their heads and tails having only gutted their insides. The heads of the fish were raised as if they were looking at the stars. Since then every year on December the 23rd the locals hold a holiday in honor of their savior and they bake stargazing pie by the way. The fish heads and tails, which frighten unprepared tourists stick out of the pie. Only as decoration actually the stuffing consists of peeled fish, potatoes, bacon, boiled eggs, onions, and herbs. Ship worms. In fact, these non-appetizing creatures are bivalve mollusk adult species live in wood, making passages with the help of their modified shell, and can sometimes gross or be more than a meter in length. It is worth mentioning that ship worms use not only mangroves, which are considered to be that natural habitat, but also woods that ends up in the sea point accidentally. They also like wooden buildings and wooden vessels. So, these worms cause serious damage to the economy finding them. For example, in mangroves is not an easy task. However, experienced ship worm hunters are quick enough to find. The trunks eaten by this mollusk break the wood and extract the mollusk citing them. People eat ship worms both raw and cooked like mussels or other more common mollusks. You have to boil water, add spices, salt rinse, the strip worms, and running water cut them into pieces and throw them into the boiling water. The most important thing is to not overcook them, because in this case just like other shellfish chip worms, become very dense and tastes a bit like rubber. This dish is cooked in Southeast Asia in the tropical and equatorial areas of some South American countries. Where these worms also live. They are gutted washed and then marinated for an hour in lemon juice, seasoned with salt and chili pepper, and then cooked on an open fire. Which recipe do you like best? Katsuobashi. Did you know a knife made of tuna? Japanese chefs. Can this grey hard brick which seems like you can easily better a nail with is called katsuobashi. Katsuobashi is a tune that's smoked. First until it dries completely and then sprayed with Aspergillus glaucus, a natural mold spore, and then locked indoors as the mold grows. 
It's cut off, and the tuna is considered ready, when the mold stops growing, and the fish itself starts resembling a tree. Perhaps, someone will think dried and solid fish to be spoiled. But katsuobashi is actually used in many dishes, and sold in the form of blocks that resemble logs. For example hardened tuna is one of the main ingredients for broth in many Japanese soups. As needed pieces of katsuobashi are shaved with a special tool similar to a wood plane called the katsuobashi kaiserreich. Interestingly, tuna becomes so hard in the process of this lengthy treatment, that you can actually sharpen it, and get the most organic knife in the world. Tuna chips are also used to decorate various dishes, and can be found in many countries. Of course, few cooks deal with wood-like pieces of fish, because katsuobashi is sold ready to eat. Insect Cocktails VJ Medallia opened a bar native not so long ago, but the place has immediately become popular. For example, native ranks 47th in the list of the 50 best bars in the world in 2017, and is one of the 6 bars in Singapore. In this ranking sounds pretty solid doesn't it in this bar? You'll not only find alcohol from foreign manufacturers and all the furnitures created by Singaporean craftsmen, but this is not the only unique feature. The thing is, in the composition of the cocktails, instead of lemons and limes, Vijay decided to use, and he serves drinks decorated with grasshoppers. The forage ants, for example, contain formic acid. So when you pop them, it tastes like a little lime, or lemons. Because of the acidity Vijay hopes, that his methods can inspire future generations, to work closely with the environment. After all, in order to find ingredients for its cocktails, the expert has to go on real journeys through the urban and forest areas of Singapore. It takes time, but Vijay doesn't worry. He thinks it's a way to push culinary boundaries which is really cool. Tamale A tamale is a traditional Mesoamerican dish made of macerado, which is steamed in a corn husk or banana leaf. The wrapping can either be discarded prior to eating, or be used as a plate, the tamale eaten from within. Tamales can be filled with meats, cheeses, fruits, vegetables, chillers or any preparation according to taste, and both the filling and the cooking liquid may be seasoned. They say that in total there are more than 500 different varieties of this dish, and it's not surprising, because tamale is a very old recipe. It's believed that for the first time, this dish was cooked back in the years 8000 to 5, 0 BC. According to legends the kind indigenous people offered tamales to the conquistadors when they arrived in the west. Shirako. Mild or soft roe also refers to the male genitalia of fish when they contain sperm used as food. Many cultures eat milt, often fried, though not usually as a dish by itself. As euphemisms go, this one's a corker. Shirako in Japanese means white children, but refers to the sperm sacs of either cod, anglerfish or puffer fish. Looking like white blobs of goo or miniature brains, they are said to have a sweet custody taste. In Russian cuisine, herring milt is pickled the same way as the rest of the fish, but eaten separately, sometimes combined with pickled herring roe. Various whitefish soft roes are usually consumed fried, and it is an inexpensive everyday dish. In Sicilian cuisine, the milt of tuna is called latum, and is used as a typical pasta topping. Mazuku Mazuku is a unique Okinawan seaweed 400 miles from the coast of mainland Japan is a small island of Okinawa where some of the most unique algae in the world grows Mazuku is a rare underwater delicacy which according to some reports allows locals to live longer and not be afraid of diseases. These algae enrich the body with fusoi diet, which prevents cancer, heart, problems and a number of other dangerous diseases. In order to grow and extract mizuku locals use a special technique for boats on a device similar to a giant vacuum cleaner in this way. It's possible to collect the algae quickly and keep it fresh, because some people like to consume mizuku raw and almost without treatment. Smoked bats. Where the sight of bats may reminded us of scary tales of Count Dracula, the Indonesians have perhaps overcome their fear by repairing them as a delicacy. People who've been adventurous enough to devour on this unimaginable creature say it tastes just like beef jerky. These bats are usually smoked. They're only about 3 inches long and look like skeletal brown mice. 
Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With this being said, let's begin.